Hey, what's up everybody? Kim Clasic here. So of course, if you follow me on other social media platforms, you probably already saw my post. I posted a, uh, basically a post from Fox News, which is Fox 45, Baltimore's local station. And it basically detailed how in 2020 to 2021, 41% uh, of Baltimore's high school students have a below 1.0 GPA average. I'll say that again since I botched it a little bit. In Baltimore City, 41% of high school students have below a 1.0 GPA average. All right, so what that means basically is uh, our kids aren't being educated. Well, we already knew this, right? Uh, but now it's front and center. And of course, because of the pandemic, uh, the fact that many kids did not have internet access or even laptops to get online, uh, there are more kids behind now more than ever, okay? So the online learning situation, if people really want to talk about, you know, what was racist in the past year or so, um, you could actually say what was going on in the inner cities and the lockdowns and the fact that none of the kids were able to go to school at all this past year. Um, it was interesting because there are other areas uh, where schools were open, they figured out how to do it, uh, whether they had to mask the kids all day, uh, whether they had to do social distancing, whether they had to do hybrid learning, some kids on one day, some kids on the other, they figured it out. In cities like Baltimore, they did not figure it out. They didn't even try to figure it out. And so now you've got 41% of high school students with a 1.0 or less GPA. That is considered child abuse, if you really think about it, right? Um, you have a lot of kids uh, that will be going back to school this fall that will be pushed through to the next grade in Baltimore because that's what they decided to do. Now, a lot of people say, well, you elect these people that put this, you know, this situation in motion, it continues on a cycle, and that is the case here, obviously, in Baltimore. But I want to remind everybody, Baltimore City is a little bit different than other cities and counties across the U.S. You see, a lot of times you have school boards where you elect those members of the school board. In Baltimore City, the school board members are appointed, appointed by the mayor. Now, in Baltimore City, you've had a Democrat mayor for what, over 50 years, right? And of course, on the school boards, you've had nothing but very liberal Democrats deciding what the curriculum is going to be, uh, deciding on where they're going to say, okay, this is where we should focus. You know, we'll hold kids back if they don't complete this. Here's the testing. Here's the scoring that we're looking for. Here's how we're going to hold teachers accountable. You've had all of this time where very liberal, and, and now we have a progressive mayor in, in Baltimore City, Mayor Brandon Scott, they're the ones that appoint who's on the school board. So this is a very, very tough situation because parents in Baltimore City really have no say. That's why school choice, charter schools, that's why they're really the best in Baltimore because right now, if you're in Baltimore, you're allowing the progressive mayor who's you know not very good at his job, but it's not just on him. Before that, we had uh, Mayor Jack Young was an interim mayor filling in for Catherine, Mayor Catherine Pugh. Uh, she was indicted for pay to play. Before that, you had Mayor Stephanie Drawlings Blake, where she wasn't even really elected. She was appointed because the mayor before that, Sheila Dixon, was also indicted for stealing gift cards from children. So when you look at everything that's been going on in Baltimore City, and you can continue to go further back, um, it is a it is a mess. It's a mess. Uh, but I think this is a time where we should probably really be focusing on how we can change the way the school board works, right? I don't think the mayor should be the one to appoint who's on the school board. I think parents should be able to elect who's on the school board, and I think it should be just like many other areas where, you know, it goes through an election process. How do we change that? That is a question, and that's what I'm going to research. But keep in mind, 41% of high school students in Baltimore have a 1.0 or less GPA. Have a great day.